It's already being called the theme park for the 21st century. Without a doubt, it's the world's most technologically advanced. But what all this amazing high-tech wizardry really means is Islands of Adventure has more family fun and excitement than any place on Earth. Join us for a priceless play date with the most famous creations of children's literature on Seuss Landing. Then, brave epic battles, mythical romance, and heart-stopping thrills on the Lost Continent. If you still think dinosaurs are extinct, our amazing journey through Jurassic Park just might change your minds. We plunge right into the hysterical antics of the world-famous comic strip stars of Toon Lagoon. Then, break through the 3D excitement barrier on the mind-boggling rides of Marvel Superhero Island. Welcome to Islands of Adventure, where the adventure comes alive every day. Welcome, adventurers. Good to see you. Welcome, adventurers. Have Our first stop is the port of entry, where we are welcomed by the island's charming and mysterious citizens. Hey, you, up there. Boy, do they know a lot about this place. That is our proudest landmark. The Port of Entry Lighthouse, 133 feet, exactly, I measured. Its light has lit the way for travelers from all over the world. Looking for adventure? You've come to the right place. I'm the official storyteller here, so I know the story. Oh, you can tell by the architecture, the Port of Entry has been on this very spot for hundreds of years. Filled with treasures from the four corners of the world. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna tell you fortune. I'm very, very good. Yeah, let me see, let me see the hand. Yeah, very good. Oh, this is very exciting. You're gonna get a little wet. <laughs> With so much to look forward to, it's time to choose our first adventure. Whatever island we decide on first, adventure lies ahead. Zeus Landing, excellent choice. Give my regards to the good doctor, and don't forget to try the green eggs. It's parsley in the chicken feed. My idea. <laughs> Seuss Landing is truly one of a kind. It's the first and only place on Earth where the outrageous literary creations of Dr. Seuss come to life. You remember Gerald McGrew from If I Ran the Zoo, who searched far and wide for the world's most unusual creatures. Well, this interactive playground is more fun than even that famous boy zookeeper could have imagined. The island's pride and joy is the carousel. There's never been a carousel quite like it, and you better believe there never will be. With all its rides, creature comforts, and child-friendly activities, we think Seuss Landing is the island of adventure they built for fun, not for speed. They even have their very own musical street show. Stop, stop, this must stop now. This must stop now. And I know how. With my reverse of my zoom, I will soon bring nothing for everyone and for everyone nothing. Of course, you can't do Seuss Landing without taking a spin with the cat who started it all. Make that cat go away. You do not want to play. Don't you 
Seuss Landing, we are swept into a mysterious world. A mythical land long buried beneath the sea in the ruins of ancient history. A realm of power, pageantry, and glory. Behold Atlantis! Greetings, travelers. I am Merlin. Welcome to the Lost Continent. The real mystery to us is how a continent this exciting ever got lost. Civilization of Atlantis was known throughout the ancient heavens for its bounty and its beauty. Yet as they thrived, they stirred the envy of powerful forces, the mighty and jealous gods Poseidon and Zeus were engaged in an earthly battle. <laughs> It caused the seas to rise up and bury this legendary splendor for all eternity. Within these ancient walls, this fateful story is forever preserved. Poseidon's fury, escape from the lost city. One dark and dreadful day, Atlantis and Poseidon rose up against Zeus. And just what do you intend to do about it? Yes, this is a mysterious land, filled with romance and adventure. But you need not believe me. Simply ask the fountain. It's magic with attitude. Hey, Francis, how old are you? Thirteen. Francis, have you ever been in love? No? That's very depressing, Francis. <laughs> <laughs> you, in the blue shirt. Hey, Judy to Judy, come here. <laughs> Who knew that families in the dark ages could have so much fun? I have to get the four green beads over here and the four yellow beads over here. Francis, this would not be the answer. But as we soon discover, prepare thyself, Striking! They live for adventure. This is the village of Sinbad, the sailor. Brave hero of one of history's most famous legends. One thousand and one tales of the Arabian Nights. But even more wondrous is this courageous adventure. The eighth voyage of Sinbad. Is the castle of Merlinwood Forest, the site of a powerful battle between two fearsome dueling dragons, one with breath of fire, and the other, ice. Once inside these walls, there is no escape but to ride the dragon as they duel in the skies. Once ice has been tamed, is it not human nature to then challenge fire?
Ever since we saw the first movie, we wondered what would it be like to jump back 65 million years to Earth's primordial past, to a time when dinosaurs ruled. Well, now we can. Hey, there's Mr. Hammond, the man who created it all. Welcome to Jurassic Park. This absolutely unique prehistoric paradise is unbelievable. It's the first and only biologically engineered preserve of animals that, well, used to be extinct. We can fly through the sky with enormous pterodons, have water fights in Camp Jurassic, a land older than a million lifetimes. And everywhere we go, dinosaurs. You know, they say Jurassic Park is an adventure. 65 million years in the making. But here at the hatchery, our adventures just take a matter of seconds. And you don't want to miss one of these. One of the smallest, yet the greatest wonders here at the park. The birth of a living, breathing, baby dinosaur. That little guy is Exhibit A of the most powerful genetics factory created since man's expulsion from Eden. Are you really making dinosaurs? Using DNA replication, the basic building blocks of life, we freed them from the confines of time. That means they're cloning. <laughs> you are going to grow up to be a biotechnologist, young lady. And we could use all the help we can get. This is our Triceratops encounter. This is where our guests have the opportunity to see a living, breathing dinosaur, up close and personal. The dinosaurs are almost like pets. She thinks I'm her mother, you know. You're gonna say hello to my friends? Then, things get a little hairy. What if the dinosaurs get out again? I mean, could they? This is Jurassic Park Animal Control. There's a security breach at the raptor pen. Stop the boat at the top of the lake. Get those people out of there. One of the hadrosaurs has knocked your boat off. All the park security systems have shut down. If anyone can hear me, do not panic. I'm coming to help you. The knowledge we've gained in Jurassic Park will transform every aspect of human life. Nothing will ever be the same again. So come back soon. And kids, remember to mind your studies. Thanks, Mr. Hammond. We will. The journey back from Jurassic Park leads us right into the funny papers. Before we can say, are we having fun yet? We find ourselves captured in the hilarious comic adventures of the famous cartoon stars of Toon Lagoon. Step back, step back, step back, please. Help us get to you with the greatest of ease. Here we come, here we come to brighten your day. We're your Toon Lagoon favorites. We love to dance and sing and play. Believe me, this is one place where a picture is worth a thousand words. It is possible.
impossible to make it through these white knuckle, white water rapids without getting drenched. But don't bet the farm on it. It doesn't take long to forget who's the cartoon and who's not. as Nell tied to the tracks. Can Dudley save the day? More to the point, can we survive this wild final plunge without getting completely soaked? Curses! Foiled again. Hey, that's my life! Compared to our next adventure, Toon Lagoon is a walk in the park. Tonight, the Sinister Syndicate has taken its criminal rampage to a new level. <laughs> the atmosphere is electric with excitement. Fantasy and reality begin to blur in our minds seem to leap straight into the pages of the world's most thrilling comic books. This is Marvel Superhero Island, and we are surrounded by the most treacherous villains and the greatest heroes in the entire comic universe. Holy cow, it's Spider-Man. Hey, Spidey here, and welcome to my city. Don't get the wrong idea, you're perfectly safe with me. But stay close together and hold children by the hand. Okay? Let's check out the action. You are the last and final piece of my plan. Your terror, sucked from the very marrow of your being, will fill my fear fuel reservoir and make me the most powerful man on Earth. Now, put your head against the headrest. I don't want to miss a drop. Is it scary? Prepare to be terrorized. I finally have the power I need to crush the Fantastic Four! The triumph of Doctor Doom is at hand! <laughs> Are you ready for the greatest ride on the island? Come out like a bullet, then invert into a 110-foot rolling dive. G-forces you can only dream about. And then, you go weightless. But hey, you're upside down, so what does it matter? You're gonna want to do it again. Trust me.
classic, really brutal curves. Crime reports are coming in from all over the city, and I'm starting to get worried. Did you see that? The fire signal! With Spider Man nearby, trouble can't be far away. This ride does things that haven't been invented yet. Trust me, superheroes don't lie. Dimension shattering 3D action. Amazing pyrotechnics. High speed motion simulators. All guaranteed to electrify every sense in your body. And some you didn't even know you had. That about wraps things up. Thanks for dropping by. I'd like to stick around, but hey, I gotta fly. I'm just glad Spider-Man's on our side. Especially tonight. What incredible adventures. And what unforgettable memories. Each unique, action-packed island is filled with more family fun and excitement than you can ever imagine. Now we know what they mean when they invite us to live the adventure. Yet, Islands of Adventure is just the beginning of our great family vacation at Universal Orlando. Believe it or not, right next door is Universal Studios Florida. Not only is this the greatest motion picture theme park of them all, it's the largest working film and television studio outside Hollywood. A day here is like writing the movies. All our favorite attractions just keep getting better. E.T. Twister, ride it out. Jaws. Back to the Future, the ride. And Terminator 2, 3D, Battle Across Time. And now, we can shoot it out with the meanest, ugliest desperados ever to invade a studio back lot. But we say I'm straight. That's right. Men in Black, Alien Attack. And guess who's got the absolute favorite spot for kids? It's Woody Woodpecker's Kid Zone, with famous attractions like Curious George Goes to Town and A Day in the Park with Barney. There's more fun here per square inch than any place on Earth. Connecting these two incredible theme parks is the phenomenal Universal City Walk. There's more dynamite, world-famous family and fine dining on this action-packed street just about anywhere in the universe. And if you're looking to get a nightlife, the music, live performances, and pure energy of CityWalk's rockin' nightclubs are guaranteed to bring the house down every night. This is where you'll find the biggest hard rock cafe in the world with superstar concerts year-round at Hard Rock Live. Class hotels are just around the river bend. The luxurious beauty and romance of the Italian Riviera awaits at the Portofino Bay Resort, a Lowe's Hotel. And the brand new Hard Rock Hotel is destined to be a contemporary masterpiece. Yes, at Universal Orlando, there's something exciting for everyone. Thanks for sharing our amazing journey through Islands of Adventure, the theme park for the 21st century. This is where the adventure comes alive.
What was the most exciting thing that you did today? The Hulk ride. Spider-Man! Spider-Man! Little Spider-Man dance. Did you have a wonderful adventure today? It's fantastic. Really, really fantastic. You get completely drenched. Expect you to walk better. Your friends then get drenched as well. What was your most exciting thing you did today? I'd have to the, say the dragons. The dragons. Were you fire or ice? I was fire. Yes! I'm going! I'm there! I'm hip! I'm happening! Did they let you into Jurassic Park? That's amazing because we lost the T-Rex earlier today. We've been traipsing around that place, stomping on people. I'm glad you had a great time, a wonderful time. Come back again and experience yet another adventure. <laughs> Take care. So long, adventurers.